Number 41. For a given amount of gas showing ideal behavior, draw labeled graphs of, and then we have letter D. So in this case, we have to draw the variation between 1 over P with volume. So 1 over pressure with volume. So in this case, I'm going to draw out my little axis. And if we have pressure and volume, volume is going to be the independent axis. So I'll put volume over here. And now they are specifically saying that we want 1 over pressure. OK. So now, if this is you know, showing ideal behavior, that means that this gas, whatever it is, is abiding by the ideal gas law, which is this formula, right? It's PV equals NRT. So in this case, only focus in on the two variables that they talk about. In this case, we only care about the pressure, because that's the P and the 1 over P, and we care about the volume, right? So basically, these are going to be held constant. So we don't really care about them. Don't really focus on that. But basically, we just have to make relationships in terms of pressure and volume. Now, remember, these are both on the same side of the equation. So if it has to equal a constant value, and if the pressure increases, and I didn't change any of this, what would I have to do with the volume? Yeah, I would have to counteract it, and that goes down. And then on the other hand, if I decrease the pressure, and it has to equal still a constant value, that means that I have to increase the volume to counteract that change. These are indirect relationships. OK. So the first thing is, are we going to get a hyperbola, meaning are we going to have like a slope like this, or are we going to get a straight linear line? Well, the relationship that they tell you, and in this case, we know that this is an indirect relationship, that, direct, that relationship has to match with what they're saying in order for it to be a linear line. This, since they said 1 over P, it's showing that this is inverse, right? If volume is on the top and pressure is on the bottom, that's an inverse relationship. So since this is inverse and this is indirect, I should have said before that inverse and indirect are tomato, tomato. So let's just say indirect. So if they match, we're going to get a linear line. But now I just got to figure out, is the linear line going to go like this? Or is it going to go like this? Well, remember, it's 1 over pressure, right? So if my volume is increasing, and remember, the actual pressure number is dropping, but any time that you divide by a lower and lower and lower number, what's going to happen to the overall number? It gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So this is going to increase. And now we have our relationship as this, and maybe I'll just get rid of that. So as this is increasing and this is increasing, we should see a linear positive slope. And that is your answer on the premise that, remember, the pressure is dropping if the volume is getting larger. But since we're doing 1 over that smaller and smaller and smaller number, this number 1 over is actually getting bigger and bigger. And that's, that's it. All right? And maybe I'll just pull this up a little bit here. That's it, guys. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, if you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button. Thank you so much. We're almost at 15,000 subs, and we wouldn't be here without you guys. So thank you so much, and I will see you all in later lessons. Okay, bye-bye.